Greetings. Jean-Jacques Dessalines. No, no, no. I said it wrong. General Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Head of the Inca army. Fighting for freedom in what was then Saint-Domingue, known today as IT. So, our divisionary general, Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Yes, people admire him as a military person. Lots of people admire his uh, strategist talents, his visionary capacities. Uh, he is admired for many things. But did you know that he's also a great cook? He could cook up a storm for a lot of people. Uh, and today, we want to talk about him as a dancer. Dasseline, the great dancer who knew every dance that came around that was in fashion, whether a dance is dance in the plantation, in the plantation by the captives, our people uh, under the slavery, whether it's danced by free, free Blacks, whether it's a dance that's danced by colon colonials, it didn't matter to him where the dance come from, who evolved in that dance, that dance he mastered. So, uh, Dessaline would then, he was also criticized because uh, some would say, you know, well, a general should not be dancing this kind of dance. A general should only dance that type of dance. A general should not dance that much, et cetera, et cetera. So he was criticized, but mostly he was criticized because he would always keep his weapon. While the protocol, the established colonial protocol said, when you're going to dance, you must leave your weapon in the room prior to the dance hall. So Dessaline said that rule not for him. He always kept his weapon. And at some point, he asked a femidagi from the city of Lekai, you a choreographer, could you invent a dance that we can dance with weapons? She said, sure, no problem, we'll do that. So she did. And she named it le carabinier, means the carabine, that's a type of rifle. So she named it after a, a, a rifle. So Dessaline loved it. Dessaline learned it. He mastered it. And then everybody became interested in dancing the carabinier. So it became very popular. And so now everybody is dancing, going on the dance floor with a carabine on the shoulder. And that was it. That's fashion now. When Napoleon Bonaparte was sending his 100,000 additional men to Saint-Domingue to, with mission to A, capture and send to France the 10 top black generals. B, if they can't be captured, kill them. And C, crush that whole business of these people thinking they could be free men like everybody else. So the army came here and Wachambeau was the most, uh, one of the more daring general that was among them. And he was set on catch, capturing Dessaline first. He had studied all the generals. He knew Dessaline loved, loved to dance. He knew the different places that he was likely to go on a Friday or Saturday night or whatever free night he had. So he set traps for him in several. And ultimately we found a note, a memo that he sent to his troops saying, after so many attempts, I'm not sure if it was 30, 33 attempts to capture Dessaline on the dance floor, he no longer wants them to do that because Dessaline seems to be 
more dangerous on the dance floor than he is on the battlefield. We'll catch him on the battlefield. So that was the decision. And Dessalines carried on with his passion as well as his mission. As we study, the more we study him, we came to understand that if dancing was one of his passions, and one of them, this is a man of many talents, his mission, he was always clear, is about bringing freedom. So he did everything, but he never put aside his mission for a minute. No matter which passion he was into, he put that passion at the service of his mission. And we look at how he goes for, he looked for competence wherever it is. He didn't care if it was a woman, if it was a man. Uh, his security is assured by Marie Jeanne, a woman who has a troop of 1,000 women. Um, he is taught, or this dance is created for him and taught to him by a Femi Dagi, a woman. His wife, Marie Claire Rose, taught him how to read and write French efficiently. So when we look at Dessalines, we see a man who is so open-minded, who has no complex, male women complex, no. And uh, who was clear on what is his mission and where are his passions and how to put his passions to work for his mission, put his passions at the service of his mission. So as I look at this, I look into my own life and I hope you will look into your own life and ask yourself, what are your passions? What is your mission? And do you know how to put your passion to work for your mission? Whether you're a dancer, a singer, a painter, is your passion at the service of your mission. Be blessed and be protected. Dance the dance of life in full view of your mission. Thank you.